welcome back. I'm Lori Williams. And today I want to uh, address something that comes up so much, so, so much uh, in with my clients that I figured, you know what, it's time to make a video about it and everybody can learn from it. So uh, what comes up, what I'm talking about that comes up so much with my clients is they feel stuck. So many people will come to me like, Lori, you know what? I feel like I'm really stuck. I don't know what my next move is. I don't know what my future holds, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff, right? Just feeling like you're stuck in place, that nothing is moving forward. There's no forward, forward momentum for you at all. And my question to them is always, are you actually stuck? Or is your feminine energy begging you to be felt and to take precedence and priority? And here's what I mean. So feminine energy is all about nurturing. It's about being, allowing yourself to be rather than do. It's about self-love and love of others. Um, I mean, there's you can look it up for masculine and feminine energy. I definitely encourage you to look it up. There's like a whole list of what masculine energy uh, entails and what feminine energy entails. And it, what might actually help you to fully understand. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go into either one of them into like extreme depths just because I want this video to be easy to watch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's, so the masculine energy is about the doing it's go, 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 push, push, push. It's, it's the doing where the feminine energy is the being. The thing is, is our culture, our societies, they expect us to be in the masculine all the time. Constantly. We're constantly go, go, go. Constantly like rushing from this place to this place. Like it's like we're in a hurry to go nowhere, essentially. The truth of it is though, when we are so predominantly in the masculine energy, the masculine energy becomes very, very toxic and there's no balance. Our universe is a balance of masculine and feminine energy. Our bodies, whether you're male or female, masculine and feminine energy has nothing to do with being male or female. Um when you have when you're male, you have masculine feminine energy. When you're female, you have um, masculine feminine energy. It doesn't matter what you identify as. You have masculine and feminine energy, and you need to find a balance for that. So when I say a balance, does that necessarily mean 50-50? Absolutely not. I might feel better if I am like 60% in my feminine, 40% in my masculine. Somebody else might feel better if they're 60% in their masculine, 40% in their feminine. Uh, I might feel better if I'm 80% my masculine, 20% my feminine. I get to decide what that is, what that looks like for me. What does balance look like for me? What, when do I best feel supported and that I am allowing myself to, to be and also do I'm so I'm, you know, really crushing both aspects of doing all the things that I need to do, but also allowing the dust to settle, so to speak, and, and self-care to take over and allowing myself to rest. Because if you're go, 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 do, do, do all the time, you need rest. And here's what happens is we will go, go, go all the time until our body will make us stop. And our body's going to make us stop in one of, one of two ways. It's going to just make us stop and we're not going to understand why, or it's going to make us sick. For me personally, I always would get sick constantly. If I don't bounce my energy, I will be sick. Guaranteed to way to knock me on my butt for three to four days is to make me sick. Then I have to worry about self-care. I have to nurture myself. I have to let myself just be. Things have to just, you know, run its course, whatever. So in order for me to not get sick, I it's very important for me to balance that masculine and feminine energy. Other people, though, not everyone will get sick with it. Some people will just kind of feel like they're stuck because... They've done all the things, they've, you know, been here, there, and everywhere, and now their body's requiring them to just stop and allow themselves to just be. But because we're not taught about the feminine energy and bringing a balance of energy into our into our being, we think we're stuck. We So we convince ourselves that we, we're stuck. You are never stuck because you're not a tree, you're not planted, you know, you have feet or a way of getting away, around of some way. Um, you know, you have mobility of some sort, you're not stuck. You might not know the next step to take. That's because the masculine aspect of the doing has already been finished. So I had a client that came to me a couple weeks ago and she was telling me like she feels stuck and all this kind of stuff. And 
all of these different aspects as she starts started to explain to me exactly like the areas of her life that she felt stuck in what we realized is all of these areas of her life were coming up to like endings she was in a, like a season of closures so like there was different relationships that were ending it was jobs that were ending stuff like that and she felt like she was stuck but the truth of it was that she wasn't stuck she just couldn't do any more with those things because they had run its course it was over it was done with it was just a matter of kind of like you know allowing herself to be allowing herself to emotionally and mentally um disconnect from those things but there was nothing else that she could do she just had to kind of allow herself to be through the process once you find that balance of doing and being and nurturing and like go 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 it's amazing how your next steps just show up for you how things just start to make sense. Things just start to feel like very aligned with you. Um, it's not so much about the doing, it's in doing for the sake of doing, it's doing because you feel aligned with it. That's the balance of masculine and feminine energy right there. So if you can make this or allow this to become part of your being, of the doing and being at the same time, then the balance is already there. And most likely you will never feel stuck ever again. So if you wanna to come to me and ask me if you're stuck, I'm going to tell you flat out, you're not stuck. You're not a tree. You're not planted. You may just be experiencing your body's need, your energetic need for the feminine energy to, to sit with you and to be prominent for a little while and to take front stage rather than the masculine always taking front stage. So give the feminine that time to that it needs to, to do and be what it needs to do and be. Let it, let it do its thing. When you are in a phase of doing, or uh, sorry, of being when the feminine energy and needs to be in the limelight. So the masculine energy is about doing. So you're physically doing things outside of yourself. Um, where the feminine energy is more about being. So internally you can be like, okay, well, who am I? Who who do I want to be moving forward? You know, like start working on the being aspects. The being aspects of who you are is going to be a job from the inside out. It's not like the masculine where the doing is on, you know, from the outside in. So the feminine, it, it kind of meets, the masculine and the feminine meet each other, and they both have their value in moving you forward. They both have, the will give you the, that sense of clarity of what you need to do. But until you realize that you're not stuck, that this is just, it's just a different aspect of that your body needs, that you, you as a, a being, human being needs, uh, and a soul being needs, it becomes a lot easier. Life becomes a lot easier when you learn to live in that masculine feminine energy flow rather than doing the masculine energy and then thinking there's something wrong with you when the feminine energy starts to show up there's absolutely nothing wrong with you never ever like never 100 percent of the time never anything wrong with you you're not stuck you're just in a season of, of feminine energy and it needs to do that you need to have that balance it's amazing what we can do completely unconscious to us you know it's the same as do you have to stop and think about taking a breath every single time you take a breath do you have to stop and think about your heart pumping your blood you know you don't have those are things are automatic to us right so the feminine and the masculine energy whichever one you are um, delinquent in it's going to make space for itself eventually and it may not necessarily be the most comfortable but it's going to do what it's got to do that's how we take care of ourselves our, our body all of our bodies, our physical body, our mental body, emotional body, energetic body, are very, very well-oiled machines. They know what they're doing, trust the process. I hope this taught you something. I hope this allows you to be a little bit easier on yourself, show yourself some grace and compassion as you're going through some um, internal changes. Just keep knowing that when you're in that feminine flow, there's things that are going on with you that... You know, it's kind of like a root structure of a plant that is, you may not see what's going on beneath the surface, but just know that it's helping to build something, a strong foundation for you, yourself. It's it's helping you to build the next phase of who you're becoming and who you're stepping into. It's all for the greater good. Just trust it. All right. I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you back here next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now.